Hey there YouTubers, Daniel Strong here with Excel VBA is fun, another exciting lesson on user form series. Uh, today we're going to talk about the user form initialize. Uh, what is the user form initialize? It's something special. Uh, exclusive to user forms, whenever the user form is prompted to show itself, it uh, if you have an initialize thing, it will, it will run all the code in there. So it's typical to run all your combo boxes, um, any any lists or anything that you want to fill up, you run it on the initialize so that way it's ready to rock. So let's get started, Alt F11. And you may see some stuff on there that uh, shouldn't be on there uh, because I had some microphone difficulties. So I'm having to re-record these three videos, lessons three, four, and five. So double click on our hide form. So I am sadly I'm going to have to delete this. And um, I wonder what all this. I guess this is all got to go to um, in our in our um, initialize sequence here. We're going to take the employees from this list, and I guess you can already see that I have a. I can leave that there. But to create a combo box, you click on the combo box button and just do that. You can drag it. I'm going to delete that one. I already have one, and I've already given it a name here in the properties field, CMB employee. So this is my employee combo box here. And as you've seen earlier, I, um, what did I do? I added a little frame here. I added a little frame, and I may have put uh, sort drop down. We're going to sort the drop down by one of two options. Put an option button number one here. And we'll put a second one right there. And let's scooch that one over. Okay. And we'll give these option buttons a little bit better description here. Let's click right there and we'll type over that. We want to be able to sort it either by employee. Um, or by the name. But let's just get uh, let's just get one thing done here. What we want to do is fill the combo box. So we'll just do the sorting in the next video, I guess. Uh, double click anywhere on the background here to activate the user form initialize. And I guess you can already see what I did there. Here's our user form initialize code here. And what we're going to do is in our module, I don't know which one, looks like module 5. We'll go ahead and go through all this again. Mercy. Alright. So we created a new sub and we called it load CMB. That's loading our combo box. So to get started, we're going to declare, uh, uh, we'll call this SD sheet as a worksheet. And then we're going to go ahead and furthermore set SD sheet equals this workbook dot sheets. And as you can see down here, it's the sheet called sort DB. So that's that, that part's done. Then we need our last row code. So from memory, we are going to say if st sheet dot cells rows dot count comma one dot end. If none of this makes sense, then you need to go back on my series and um, and check out the the basics form. Um, excuse me, the basic series video regarding you uh, finding the end. So we're just saying that the last row is going to be either. Um, either whatever this finds, or if it finds the first column, then we'll just go with column two and beyond. So that may not make sense, but check out the video and study that. So now we have captured our last row in this variable called SDLR. 
So we're going to say for x equals 2 to sdlr. And we need a next x or next whatever the heck our variable is going to be. Now, here's where it gets fun. For each single row, we're going to go through and in the first ins in this first instance, we're just going to take whatever is the employee ID from column 1, put a and then put uh, add a space hyphen space and then we'll take the last name uh, or the name field here. So to do that, we're going to say um, SD sheet dot cells row X and then um, we'll take column one. Then we'll do an ampersand and join the space hyphen space that's all in one text field surrounded by quotes and join that with SD sheet dot cells uh, row x column 2 which column 2 is our name instead of employee ID so all that oh well we're not just gonna say that we're gonna say um, what is our form name let's see it's called hide form so we're gonna say hide forms hide form dot um, cmb employee pops up dot add item and you're done okay the hide form is where we're locating the combo box and then the attribute called add item we're going to add an item for each x so we'll debug through that really quick so, um, oh, and then we have this, this is our procedure, load CMB. We want to run that whenever this user form opens. So double click somewhere on the background. Within the user form initialize, we're going to call the procedure called load CMB. And that's all we want to do whenever this user form opens up. So let's hit F5. And you notice it went through all that, and we have a drop-down box. Wow, check that out. You can uh, you can search any, and at this point, any employee number that you want. So let's uh, let's type this one: zero one one seven seven zero zero one one seven, and it already brought up person or blah one person. So you can hit the up and down arrows. That's how a combo box works, and that's how you can fill them in using the add item from a database. Um, in the next video, we'll be able to click this um, option button number one versus option button number two. So if you want to sort it by employees, it would do that. If you want to sort it by name, it would switch to saying guy comma fake seven hyphen and then his employee ID number. So that'll be pretty cool. Check it out. Thanks for watching.